everybody for being here, and certainly a lot of our head coaches and staff appreciate everybody coming. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching online. Um, exciting day for our men's golf program. Uh, this has been um, a process. I want to thank um, all of our student athletes, first and foremost, for the perseverance and resilience throughout this unprecedented time this spring um, with, uh, with interim. And then uh, certainly giving their all for app in some uncertain times. So I want to certainly thank our student athletes. Um, we'll thank Alan and introduce Alan. Thank Alan for setting up, stepping in as interim. Um, but certainly we're here to introduce him as well. Um, just a little bit about how we went about our search. You know, we went about a national search. We, um, we know that we have a highly coveted job at a great university. And we wanted to make sure that we found the right fit for our uh, next head men's golf coach and certainly you know one of the you know characteristics we were looking for was commitment somebody that's committed to App State committed to our core values of academic integrity social responsibility competitive excellence and world-class experience for our student athletes so that was we were unwavering in that search I want to thank uh, Spencer and, and Patrick Ransdell for re leading that search uh, Sarah Strickland or Sarah Strickland for jumping in and being the interim, <laughs> kind of interim part two golf coach along the way. Um, but so those kind of were the criteria we were looking for. You know, somebody that cares more about the, you know the student athlete, the holistic student athlete and development um, of, as young men, not just students uh, or not just athletes, but students first, athletes second. Um, as I mentioned, committing to App State uh, for the long term. We want somebody that's going to be here a long time and develop this program. Um, we know and we've touched where we can get into the finals in the Sunbelt Conference and compete for a Sunbelt Conference championship. And that's our goal is to compete for Sunbelt Conference championships and play in the NCAA tournament. Um, with that, we found the right person. And Alan Crest, we're, we're, we're very thankful for him saying yes and being here today. Um, and certainly, you know, as all of us are part of something that's bigger than ourselves, what is the App State family. So we certainly want to welcome Nancy and Walker, uh, Catherine and Kevin to the App State family as well. So not, not that I'm sure you haven't heard a lot about App State growing up, um, but now you're officially part of the family. Um, and we're very excited to have Alan be our next head golf coach. So Alan, please go. Thank you. So we always tell our players, um, or I always tell our players, today's just another day. Don't make it bigger than it really is and be calm and clear. So now's my chance to do all of those things. And I've, I've got to admit, I'm a little nervous. Uh, so I've been trying to convince myself uh, for the past two days to do all three of those things. So I hope uh, I, hope I can do that. Um, it's an honor to be here. Uh, this is an opportunity of a lifetime for me, so I want to thank uh, Chancellor Everts. Uh, I want to thank Doug, Spencer Bridges, uh, Jonathan Reeder, Heather Brown, and Sarah Strickland. Uh, you guys have been wonderful to work with, and I appreciate everything you've done for me, uh, and also everyone that was on the search committee. Uh, I want to thank my family. Uh, my mom and dad, my dad, uh, he's not able to be here. My mom, she passed away uh, two years ago, but um, she would be very excited. Um, not sure she would believe it, but um, she, she would be very excited. Um, I want to thank Nancy and Catherine and Walker and Kevin. Um, they've heard a lot of stories about golf around the dinner table, so I apologize uh, for all of that. Um, but it all started uh, in 1938. My grandmother, she graduated from App State. My mother-in-law, Miss um, Falls, graduated in the 50s from App State. Nancy and I graduated in the 90s from App State. Kevin and Catherine uh, graduated recently from App State. Uh, my son found his way to Boone and Blowing Rock via JMU, but he found his way back here. Um, so there's always been a lot of black and gold in our house. Um, so, you know, I want to kind of give folks a picture of what App State golf will look like. Obviously, we want our athletes to be students first. Um, they're going to represent App State and the Big A at the highest level wherever we go. Uh, we're going to give them the tools to compete on a national level, um, and we're going to give them a world-class experience. And just from uh, my experience with Doug and everybody, uh, there's, there's commitment second to none, and we'll have the tools to be successful. Um, 
So one of the things I do want to thank, or folks I want to thank are, is our donor base. Um, I spoke to one of them last night, and it just goes to show uh, how small our uh, how small the app nation is one of the gentlemen I spoke to actually grew up in my neighborhood in Concord um, and he he said you know I know your grandfather he was quite a character and I said well I hope I hope you don't hold that against me but um, so uh, the family here uh, is very close um, everyone has welcomed me into the family and uh, I appreciate the support and I know we will create a lot of friendships moving forward. So thank you very much. Coach, first of all, welcome. Um, you've described your experience and your family being so close and so tied to App State. Just describe the emotion to be back here and to be representing this program. Well, uh, when I left in the early 90s, I did not want to go down the mountain. Um, but the gentleman I was working for, uh, he told me that I had to go get a real job. Uh, so I, I did that, and we um, settled in our hometown. Um, and then I've always been tied to the high country, tried to spend as much time in the summer here as possible. Uh, so we've never really gone away, but emotionally, um, to be standing right here, it's the ultimate for me. Doug talked about your role as an interim last season. How did that experience and the opportunity to build relationships with players on this team already uh, make this transition easier for you? Well, it, we were able to identify their talent level um, and have some review process processes going on. Um, and our relationships, you know, when you're out there trying to help a guy make a three-footer or hit a certain shot, I mean, it can, it can get kind of tough. Uh, so, you know, we were able to identify uh, what their talent was, how they responded under certain circumstances. So we're going to be one step ahead as we move into the fall, and I'll know their tendencies as we move forward. You've had a long career in the golf industry. What does being on the golf professional side of things, what does that experience uh, bring to the table as a head coach? Well, just through, uh, throughout the years, it gives, or has given me the tools to be able to uh, identify good things and bad things fairly quickly. Um, so it took me probably two or three tournaments to identify what our players were doing and how they went about their business. Um, but now, especially with the ones I've had contact with, it's just made it easier for me to be able to see those things uh, because, you know, Spencer can attest to this. When, you're, when you've got seven holes to go in the Sun Belt Conference um, and you're trying to get guys to hit shots, uh, it kind of gets a little chaotic. So, you know, all those experiences over the years, I've been able to kind of you know, keep things calm, clear, and make sure we're going about our business. You talk about those critical moments in conference play. What is your vision for this team in this conference and beyond moving forward? Well, I think the biggest key is to make sure we play in the correct fields um, so that we're going to have a little work to do to make sure we get in fields where we're playing against uh, highly ranked opponents. Um, so then when we get to the Sun Belt Tournament, uh, we don't want to be in a position where we have to win and put all that pressure on ourselves. So uh, we want to make sure when we go to the Sun Belt Conference, it's more of a preparation uh, for the regionals versus, you know, trying to catch lightning in a bottle one more time. That, that makes it very difficult. Finally, I know it's just day one, but how would you describe what your philosophy is going to be from a recruiting perspective? Well, you know, one thing that some folks overlook a lot of times is the Carolinas has about the fifth or sixth highest ranked um, recruiting class in the country. So there's a lot of talent in our own backyard. Um, we've got uh, some connections in Europe that we've already spoken with. So it, there'll be a mixture of talent, but um, you know, it's, it's really unbelievable what goes on in the Carolinas, especially in the summer. All those young men are starting their summer schedules. Uh, so we'll be out on the road identifying that talent.